In these problems, we're being asked to find the intercepts of some nonlinear functions just by looking at the graph. And this is not going to be too hard. The x-intercepts of any function are going to be the spots where it crosses the x-axis. So that spot and that spot. And we just give the x value. So your x-intercepts are at negative 2 and 0. Not too tough. And then since these are functions, they're only going to have one y-intercept. If they had more than one y-intercept, that means they'd be crossing the, um, the y-axis at two different points. There'd be one x-value with two different y's. That means it wouldn't be a function. So there's always going to be only one y-intercept for a function. And it's right here uh, at the origin where it crosses the y-axis and, coincidentally, the x-axis. So your y-intercept is just at y equals 0. Let's try one more. Uh, so this one, our x-intercepts are where it crosses the x-axis. So that looks like it's negative uh, 4 and negative 2. And the y-intercept here, where it crosses the y-intercept, is at the value where y equals 2. And that's really all there is to it.